We got the thief Rob versus Palutena. The thief Rob. The thief. That's fitting. <laughs> he out here robbing stock. He just two, comes in and kills one, you. <laughs> just spontaneous. It's like, oh, you're on the ledge? <laughs> Side B. <Die. laughs> yeah, good game, easy. It's tiny. Like, some of those like more traditional, like what you would think as zoners, just have OD frame data for whatever reason. That are like insane reversal options, so you can't catch them. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. I gotta play tag. Just get damage where you can. Yeah. This game wants you to overextend because its buttons are so good. It's a, it's a real test of endurance. Yeah, it's definitely out here with that. Good, good forward tilt to stop the approach like that. Yeah, Guitar Lord's playing, like, uh, he's trying to shark, like, super, super hard on this, on the Palutena, but she's, uh, I can't remember his type. Uh, or type. Hydra. Hydra, right. Hydra's doing a good job of beating the wall, stopping all of Rob's approach right here. Now, if Rob can't get in, he's just gonna take damage, and it's just gonna be bad news for him, because he's so big, he could die to, like, stray hits. Yeah, traditionally, as Rob, you wanna... You want to hold, you want to hold yourself to a minimal disadvantage. Like start, uh, really start moving, uh, moving with all of your frame traps. But if he is, isn't able to do that after each interaction, he's generally going to take more damage. I'd like to see a little bit more top coming out, just because oh, we died oh, for there that damage. Yeah, There's 170. Yeah, it'll make sense for it to kill the hair. Late nair combos. The up air, that's a good 50 right there. Yeah, it started at the really edge of the stage. PS2 so long, you could get three of them. That platform I'm, definitely helped too for the extension. I'm just waiting for Howie's to start raw nairing and taking you back the other way, like for an extra one. It's like, no, oh, please. Oh god, please. <laughs> They're already so good. <laughs> Make them better. Uh, I guess it's just it might be not true with SDI up, so you just get the more the more consistent 50%. That's okay. Oh, the Ooh. spike! <laughs> I died. Commit to death. The smash classic. Ooh, the side beat. I love those explosive fans. They're, They're so really good. good. They're really good. They covered a good recovery and uh, got a nice follow up and damage off of it. I just playing like super well at just like committing to the ground and not letting Rob uh, get all of his tools set up on the ground level. Like he, the top is nowhere to see on stage, so now he is completely dominating all of it. And there it is. He finally gets off of ledge after taking 115. Ooh. Pushing a little hard here for this kill. Oh, misses the punish there on that teleport. It doesn't need to be fancy. You can just get a grab here. Oh, that was totally hey. Yeah, that's very punishable. Takes the takes his first attack there. Now, if Rob can rob these stocks right now with the shenanigans off the gyro, then it could be a closer match. Oh yeah, Rob has a lot more kill options at like lower percents than he does. This. That's gonna be it. Ah, uh, yeah. 150, that back for so strong. Too bad for you. Yeah, that match looked like a good old Palutena walls you out. You try. You try your best to get in. Yeah, uh, Hydra was doing super well. At just uh, He seemed like he was coming in prepared. Like, knowing I know how to handle Rob, I know how to avoid all of his tricks, I know not to get scared when Rob starts, like, hitting Nair at me or hitting, like, uh, getting super close. It's like, I'm going to just be calm, be collected, and keep him out, get him out as fast as possible, and have him stay there. Yeah. like the Hydra's uses of, of uh, Paul's buttons there, using the side B to cover, landing, get the follow-ups off of the platform. The explosive flames were super nice. Yeah. They, uh, he would frequently use two, one falling and one rising. So 
it would commit it would either force rob to hold shield which then would let hydra get wedge or get him back on stage with uh with teleport or whatever it's actual name is yeah. secure that last lock with the grab too just good general palatino player right there Where is the game number two? very fundamental uh, i like the Kalos. i like Kalos as a pick for rob it's so huge uh, the large center area let's uh let's him avoid some power vertical combos while he was just dragged over to the platform at that point oh yeah <laughs> Palos getting all of their follow-ups right there. Just jumped right in with an air, got like a good 60. He was trying to scout out what looked like a spot dodge in that interaction, but he, he wasn't ready for the roll-in. It's much harder to be to react to defensive options on Wi-Fi, which I think is the most frustrating thing for certain characters that thrive off of tech Ooh. chases. Also, ow. It's good kill confirm right there from the Palos. And the Nair's been again. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. That was almost bad for Guitar Lord. Wow, he crossed up, like, on edge. So, like, he could have been, he could have been off stage there, but I guess it was, it was a risk worth taking and one that paid off. True that, true that. Oh, that side of getting punished. One more. Okay, try oh, to go for the air dodge. I respect it. Yeah, he went for the far one. I think he wanted the close one. Yeah, I think the main thing to note about fighting on Wi-Fi is trying to get people off you when they're getting in. It's like one of the toughest things to do in this game. It really is. Certain characters can just feel so oppressive. And like, Wi-Fi Pac-Man are just so crazy. Yeah. You see like fair trains coming from those Wi-Fi Pac-Man, for, for example. Yeah, and it's one of the reasons, oh, that drag down upper was clean. <laughs> so, like, he's really making sure to get every little bit of percent off of every interaction. And Rob is so big that in the middle of combos, as long as they're true, like, SDI doesn't help him as much as it does on the character. But good way nice on the up. air dodge there. Yeah, nice up there to take the stock. Look like it's very similar to game one. The Palutena is just walling him out or just going in. And the Rob's having trouble to get out. Just getting murdered. Ooh, nice. This is good. Getting that damage. Yeah. Rob's can, the, the Rob can still bring spot. Oh, for sure. Rob is plenty heavy. Kalos is plenty big to where he can take a little bit more damage. But as long as his defensive options are just getting scouted super hard by Hydra. He's really making sure to limit what Rob can do in any given moment and keeping him off stage as much as possible. Because as long as he's off stage, he has to do, he has to like commit to double jump if he wants to play aggressive. And you can, like, you can plan that out with shield. Ooh, try to side me there, missed and died for it. That's very unfortunate. You know, he, back here. he didn't expect the pop out counter twice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be. Going next, Utopian Ray versus Apollo. I'm just waiting to see. Uh, I literally just started top 24 rounds, so I'm going to wait and see uh, when either of these guys are available. It's on the refresh uh, my bracket. Yeah, after that, we're going to have uh, Hydra versus PK Chris, uh, followed by Zach 67671 versus Wonders. Uh, Wonders is the one who beat Beast early in the bracket. And then the last one will be either Sonic Bean or WebJP versus Tab Soda. Ah, uh, the Yoshi. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some some Wi-Fi warriors coming out playing strong. P e